Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jennifer Hardy and this is the Unstoppable Podcast Show. Thank you so much for listening wherever you are. You know you're always a valued part of this movement. So today I am joined by the beautiful Giselle Riley. Hi Giselle, how are you? Hi Jennifer, I'm great, thanks. Awesome. So amazing to have you on the show today. Today, in this episode, we're actually going to be talking about all um, brand stories, like authentic brand stories. And that's exactly what Giselle does. She helps trail, uh, trail blazing creative women entrepreneurs find their voice and create an authentic brand story. So Giselle, first of all, how did you get into this? Well, I've it's kind of always been something that I've done without realizing it. You know, I've always been the go-to person for people building their brand, even from, I would say about high school, you know, because, you know, my little classmates would always have some kind of entrepreneurial venture and I'd always give them advice. And I don't know what it was, I guess because I've been a communications person, which is strange because naturally an introvert, you know, I've yeah. always been able to help them to skyrocket their brand, whether it, you know, them winning um, first place in a beauty competition or anything. And that kind of translated when I got older, um, doing my side hustles and uh, it's something that I do in a nine to five job on a regular basis, because right now I work for a scale up accelerator for entrepreneurs and they're always coming to me, you know, say, just uh, what can I do to build my brand? You know, and I've always been able to get media attention for them. So it's always been something that's been inside of me. Fantastic. Excellent. And, Anyone that's out there listening, you will know or you should know how important it is to build your brand. It is crucial in the startup of your business, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. It is your business, I suppose, more than anything else. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the shop window, if you like, of people getting to know you and, and clicking, coming into your space. So, so, so important. So tell me, let's go back a little bit. I want to know a little bit about your story. So where, like, for example, where did you grow up? And have you always, like you said, you did say actually that you always had this kind of inkling to want to help other people and, and give them advice about things. But mm -hmm. did you go into any other jobs before you kind of found your feet here? Or were you always, always doing this? You know, it's been a long road getting here. Oh, you know, wow. I, yeah, I've always known that it was my purpose to help people using my gifts, yeah. but I didn't know which freaking gift to use. <laughs> I so I did everything, not tooting my own horn, but I'm a type A personality. So I'm pretty good at a lot of things, just yeah. like most women, because we're freaking superheroes. Oh, and yeah. I struggled with deciding what to do along my entrepreneurial journey. So I did a million things. I was a copywriter, a website developer, a digital marketer, Whew, it was a lot. Amazing. You know, I made some money, but I was exhausted, cranky, and not following my true path. Yeah. One day, a friend of mine who happened to be a life coach asked what I was good at. I said, writing and telling people what to do, <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is funny, but not surprising because I'm a straight shooter. But the question made me think and dig deeper. You know, I got real zen about it. Yeah. I took a much needed break from my regular reality and went mm -hmm. on a trip to Beijing with my husband. It was amazing. And it really gave me the mental break I needed after running on the fumes for so long doing various things. On my flight back home, something told me to just consolidate. So without a plan, I finished up jobs with clients, you know, from my various side hustles. People thought it was crazy, you know, but it was in those moments of taking time to work on me that I got that clarity. I realized that through my life, as I mentioned before, I was always sharing my expertise and helping entrepreneurs find their voice and build their brand, but I wasn't applying my advice, you yeah. know, to do it soulfully to myself. You know, I wasn't following the signs of my own advice. Mm -hmm. And that's when I saw the value of having a coach, Absolutely. you know, and realized that I'd been one all along. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes it is that realization of, 
oh my goodness, everything I've ever done in my life has led mm-hmm. me to this moment. Mm-hmm. And it's not as if it's a new thing. It's mm-hmm. just that I've never actually had the realization of mm-hmm. this is what I can be doing as my passion, as my hobby, but mm-hmm. also as my work and as my business. Yeah. You know, because I was always attracting people who needed my help and yeah. they got real results and it made me happy, yeah, you know, absolutely. more than anything else. So I cut the crap out, you know, got over my BS and God told me, girl, cause he speaks to me like that. He's like, girl, this is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it done. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, I mentioned the word brand story, but some mm-hmm. people will be listening going, some people will, will be like, yep, mine's is all figured out. I know exactly what that is. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm on it. But some mm-hmm. people will be going, what does it actually mean? What mm-hmm. is a brand story and how on earth do I actually find it? Can you mm-hmm. give them some help and advice to break that down and, and maybe some tips on how they can actually begin to create it? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So your brand story is the essence of what makes you you it's not only your big why of what you do you know it is what inspires your audience to actually want to work with you or just even feel an emotional connection with you you know i always like to say that a brand story is like an onion there's a lot of layers to it so all the great people who are successes in life have brand stories you know richard branson Oprah, Marie Forleo, all these great people, you know, and look at Oprah, you know, her, her life didn't start out, you know, on an easy path, you know, and it's because we know these stories, you know, and we feel empowered by them, which makes us feel affiliated with her and like her even more because it's said that a lot of people don't buy products or services they buy stories you know and once you're able to input your values and your history in some way into who you are and why you run your business that's when people will want to work with you now as I mentioned values to do that one of the steps I always like to say people need to take, you need yeah. to find your values. Yeah, absolutely. You know, what is your internal guidance system? Yeah. You know, and I also believe in being very strategic. So you also have to determine your ideal client. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You need to nail down to the nitty gritty of who they are, because after all, this is who you serve. Yeah, you know, my, I, I, yeah. If you don't know who that person is. It's impossible to get your voice in front of them, isn't it? Exactly. You know, I al- I always like to share with my clients. You know that my avatar uh, yeah. is Taylor. Her name is Taylor. I always ask myself, what would Taylor like? Yeah. Would Taylor not- like if I did this? <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, when I share it with my clients, they're like, oh, wow, Taylor sounds just like me. And I'm like, yes, because yes, it is. Oh, I want to work with it. Like you. <laughs> She's modeled on you or you have came to life because of her. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So values, well, ideal clients, yeah. and, you know, just intertwining bits of your story. Yeah. I'm going to ask you another question as well. Why mm. do you think it's sometimes so hard for entrepreneurs to actually find their brand story? Now, I know at the beginning for me mm-hmm. that I didn't want to get vulnerable. Yeah. I didn't want to be seen as unprofessional mm-hmm. um, because of some of the worries that I had. And so for example, I didn't have a lot of self-confidence at the beginning, mm-hmm. you know, I'm starting this business and I was mm-hmm. hoping and trying that it was going to work, but I would have been damned if I would have said to people, you know, oh, by the way, you know, I, I'm not feeling confident today. You know, it, it was almost as if I was acting this role but I wasn't being completely, truly authentic. So I think for me personally, I think that's probably one of the answers, but do you agree with that? Or is there anything else that you would add to that? that You think I'll tell you, know, this is why you're not able to find your brand story properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You see, we, we live in a world that focuses a lot on the mechanics of Mm -hmm. things, you know, and especially as women, Though we can use that framework, you know, I find that in order to be truly successful, you know, in what you're doing and living in your purpose, 
you have to be able to get vulnerable. And a lot of that, a lot of what's hindering that, you know, is negative self-talk and past programming to say that, oh, no, people should know who I am. What if they don't like me, you know, and not accepting that, listen, you are enough. Absolutely. Absolutely. People, people won't like me. They'll love me. That's love part of the positive self-talk that we need to tell ourselves. Yeah. You know, and something else, you know, being multi-talented and multi-skilled women, because we're so used to, that's the foremost thing, that because we're so used to doing everything and being everything yeah. to everyone, it's hard for us to nail down exactly what our singular narrative is. That is so true. Mm -hmm. So true. Oh, amazing. I'm, I'm loving this today. I'm excited because <laughs> obviously it was quite hard for me to, to nail down what my story was or, or is. And, but then, of course, like you said, to be strategic and mm -hmm. talk about the parts that you know are going to resonate with your, with your clients and customers. Mm -hmm. um, and you said something really lovely there, which was people won't like you, they'll love you. And that is the people that you want to bring into your space, isn't it? Exactly. Because when you show your authentic self, you're going to attract the right people into your life. It's happened for me, I know for sure. Because once I just gave up, you know, all the crap and cut the BS out of my life, you know, I started to attract amazing opportunities. People, when I, when I officially started coaching and told my network, people just jumped on it, you know. And I was like, wow, you know, besides from it feeling right to me, yeah. It was like the universe was saying, this is it. Yeah. And it all came out when I just lay it all on the table. Yeah, yeah. You know, and as you said, become vulnerable. Yeah, and, and not just, just not scared. Yeah. Or, or not caring what anyone else thinks that mm -hmm. are not your people. Yeah. Well, I, I always, there's a really lovely quote, and it's like, you know, you don't need millions of people to like you you mm -hmm. just need a select few to love you mm -hmm. and Definitely. there you go you've got your brand exactly. um, and you can cut through the people that you do not want to work with anyway by being yourself and being positive exactly. and open um amazing so tell me about um obviously you know for entrepreneurs for business women it can sometimes look as if it's really easy and we've got it all mapped out and we, we've got our shit together and we know exactly what we're doing all of the time. But I wanted to ask you, have you ever went through, you know, struggles within your business and you were really kind of stuck on what to do next? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so true for everyone. And if yeah. you did, you know, how did you take action on getting out of that? Mm-hmm. Well, as I said, you know, one of the foremost things that women, multi-talented and multi-skilled women struggle with is selecting one thing and being okay with it. Yeah, absolutely. And that was a big struggle for me because, you know, I was doing copyrighted digital market, as I said, I was doing it all. And after I just, you know, just took a breather. Mm hmm you know, I've been, I was able to find the path and because I have that been there, done that, you know, um, version of my life, you know, I'm able to, you know, share it with the clients. So yeah, I mean, I'm a work in progress. Absolutely. Even though I am aligned on my vision and I'm totally, you know, happy with it. Sometimes you got to find a little voices in your head to say, Oh, what if I do this? No. <laughs> so true. It's so true. And you, you, you do always listen to those voices. For uh -huh. me, still, even at this to this day, you know, I do have moments of low confidence. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's okay. I think you have to just embrace that and say, do you know what? It's okay. You got to push forward. Yeah, exactly. I probably wouldn't be feeling like this if I was not being brave. Mm -hmm. If I was comfortable, I'd be like, yep, yeah, this is easy. Everything feels good. My day is just going along the way they would always do. It's when you take those big, brave moves that a little bit of fear sometimes kicks in and your mm -hmm. confidence dips and 
actually it's close, isn't it? Exactly. You know, uh, an amazing entrepreneur said to me once, just get started. Yeah. And really that's all you need to do. And because I also like to, to show people that people who are major successes in life are ordinary people like you and me. Okay. Yeah. The only difference is that they just got started and uh, it's progress and not perfection. And that's something I tell myself every day because I'm naturally a perfectionist. But if you stay stuck in that mode of perfectionism, you're going to be limited. You just yeah. always have to be in that zone of feeling a little uncomfortable, yeah. you that, know, and a little perfect. excited and do it. <laughs> Yeah, that is where the magic happens, isn't it? Yeah. That, that, that zone. Um, oh, Giselle, it's been absolutely amazing talking to you. You've got such a beautiful, warm, um, but yet calming uh, aura. It's, it's so lovely. So thank you oh, for being on the show. You. I love talking to you, Jen. You oh. are freaking amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Giselle, people will be listening to this and they'll be thinking, I need a freaking brand story pronto. <laughs> um, so can you tell us where we can find you? Okay, well, you can, people can check me out on my digital baby, aka my website at GiselleRiley.com, you know, and my social pages as well. I'm always on it um, at Giselle Riley and on Facebook and on Instagram and LinkedIn. Excellent. And have you got anything in the pipeline coming up that people can kind of dive into and have a look at, whether that be some sort of free value or do you have a new course or anything like that? Or are you taking on obviously one-to-one -one clients? I actually have a course that's coming up, a brand storytelling course. Awesome. It's a, yeah, it's a hybrid coaching program. And I, this is the first place I'm announcing it. So I'm pretty Yay! excited. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. So anybody who signs up, you're welcome, who signs up and, you know, signs up for the wait list will get $200 off of the price plus access to exclusive bonuses only for wait listers. Fantastic. That is awesome. Thank you so, so much for You're being welcome. here, for being yourself and for showing up and giving everyone out there listening lots of hints and tips and, um, and some of your secrets away to brand storytelling, which is crucial for your business, guys. So thank you, everyone, for listening. I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are listening from in the world today, tonight. Thank you for being part of Unstoppable. If you want to find out more about Giselle. Remember that you can just go below and her links will all be there. And of course, if you want to find out more about Unstoppable and what we do, the links will be just below that too. So have a beautiful day or night and I will speak to you real soon.